So guys, today we are going to discuss about allocating service department cost. It is again unit number nine we are discussing. So this is the last topic of unit number nine. So what does mean by allocating service department cost? Let's, let me give you first example. And then we will go through which things we are going to discuss. Obviously guys, when we manufacture any product, so mainly what we do, we incur these three costs on the product. First, it will include cost of material, which we say direct material. Second, it will include cost of labor, okay, which we say direct labor. Third, it includes cost of overheads. Material, for example, if you look at chairs, so plastic, metal, these kind of things is called what? Material. Labor, obviously, it's a cost of human human being who have worked on this product. So then what are the overheads? Overhead means to say other cost. Other cost means say other than direct material and direct labor. If you are incurring any cost like electricity, insurance, rent, okay, which is not direct material, not direct labor, but we incur on the product that is called your overheads. Now, please remember guys, for example, we have two department, production department. Let's assume one is called, I'm just giving name, assembly department. And then we have what? Another department which is called what? Finishing department. For example, these are two production department where we are doing production. So here we will have obviously overhead cost. Overhead cost means to say like rent, insurance, these kind of things. These kind of things like rent, insurance, depreciation. So this is your overheads. But along with this production department, I'm assuming these are our which department? Production department. Along with production department, sometimes we also have service department. Which department? Service. service. For example, you might have a maintenance department who is providing support to the production. Service department means say what? Those department which provides support to the production department. You might have a maintenance, maybe you might have a IT department, you might have a custodial department, you might have a canteen, different departments which are providing support to the production department. So there you will also incur cost, right? For example, maintenance department, there you might also have a cost of people who are working in that department. For example, IT department, here you are also incurring costs like salaries of IT department people. So those are called overheads, by the way, pure overheads. So for example, we have an overhead cost for maintenance department. Let's assume $100. And for IT department, we have a cost of how much? $200. Plus along with service department, we have production department. There also we have overhead cost. For example, for production department assembly, we have $1,000. And for finishing, we have how many dollars? $2,000. So what we are going to study here, actually look, normally what we do, normally what we have to do here, we will take these costs, which cost service department cost, and we will charge to which department to the production department. Simply charge means say what? We will shift service department over and cost to the Production department. For example, I'm just assuming, let's assume 50 50 percent. Later on, I'll tell you how to charge. For example, I'm assuming, let's assume service department cost, we will charge 50 percent to the assembly department and 50 percent to the finishing department. So, how it, it will become? So, obviously, it means here I'll deduct 100 because this is going to shift from maintenance department to 50 percent to the assembly and 50 percent to the finishing because total was 100. So 150 is allocated to assembly and 50 is allocated to finishing. Same way I'll take IT cost and I will allocate to what? To the production department. For example, IT cost was 200. 50, 50 percent we are allocating. So 50, uh, it will be $100 here, $100 here and $200 we will deduct from here. So what we are doing actually, we are shifting overhead cost from service department to the production. Now tell me what will happen after allocation. This maintenance will become what? Zero. 
this it will also become what zero but the summary department it will become 1000 plus 50 plus 100 it will become 1150 and same way finishing department will become was 2150 so what are total overheads now total overheads before allocation of service and after allocation will be the same for example if you will make the total of this whatever value you will get so this will be equal to the total of after allocation also so what what is the point the point is now i'm telling you the final point the point is in this topic we are going to learn how to allocate service department overheads which department overheads service department overheads to which departments to production department once overheads will be allocated to the production then next is what we will do we will take these production department overheads and we will take it to the product cost here where we will take product. to the product cost this is not our story how to take product cost no our story is how to how to shift overhead cost from service department to the production but logic i told you from service to production first we will shift and then from production we will take it to the product but that is not our story our topic is allocation now if you look at here what is the name of topic topic is allocating allocating service department cost so we will allocate service department cost to the production department and there are now what is the main point here so there are guys three main three main techniques which we can use to allocate service department overhead cost to the production department so which three methods are there so there are three methods first method is called what first method is called direct method second method is called step down method and third method is called what reciprocal method actually we need to learn these three methods what is direct method and how it will work what is step down method and how it will work and what is reciprocal method and how it will work understood this was the overview so it means we will use we can use three methods to allocate service department cost to the production understood so first i'm going to start direct method because in your exam he will ask you that by using direct method or by using step down method or by using reciprocal method so you have to tell what is the cost which you will allocate to any specific department so first i'm going to tell you which method direct, direct method so need concentration it is very easy don't worry now we are discussing direct method and from here question will be tested okay previous it was overview so here we go guys need concentration so let me first make a small picture this picture should be in your mind while solving the question okay what this picture is Okay, so this picture you have to remember, guys. What is the picture? For example, I am assuming because these departments we will assume throughout the topics. So we have a two service department. In service department, we have a two. One is called IT department, IT, and one is called custodial service department. Maybe they provide custodial services that you can keep your assets or items in their custody. So they are providing these services. And we have a two production department. Two production. Production department, I'm assuming one is we have milling. Milling department. And second, we have what? Finishing department. Understood? Okay. And that direct method, what we will do? Need concentration, please. I need your concentration. Otherwise, you will lost. We have two departments, service, mm -hmm. IT. And what? Custodial service. And we have a two production department. Which department? Milling and finishing. Under direct method, what we will do? This is the picture of direct method. See what statement I'm saying. You can allocate 
सर्विस डिपार्टमेंट कॉस्ट डायरेक्टली टू द प्रोडक्शन इन एनी ऑर्डर वट वट आई यूज इन एनी ऑर्डर इन एनी ऑर्डर मीन वट मे बी I will. I want, for example, I want to allocate first custodial service. It's my wish. No problem. I will allocate custodial service first to milling and to finishing. So what I'm doing? Then, then I'm I'm thinking now I will allocate IT. So what I will do? I will allocate IT directly to the production. Or maybe I can allocate IT first directly to the production department, and then I can allocate what custodial. service so what two words i have used here you can allocate any service department cost directly to the production in any order directly to the production means say what you don't need to allocate among the service department no directly we will take the part over at cost or service department we will take it to the production inter service department allocation is not needed Because in coming method there will be inter service department allocation will also be there. But here what we will do? Which two words I said? One word is what? Directly we will take it to the production. Second word I said what? In any order you can allocate. But how you will allocate? We always need a basis. Maybe base could be square feet. Maybe base could be anything else. So base will be given in the question. For example, we will tell you IT can be, for example, allocated based on CPU cycle, or or for example, rent of specific thing can be allocated based on square feet. We will tell you the base. Understood? So this picture you should remember. What word I told you directly to the production and in any order. These two words don't take it light. It's important. It will make your life easy. In future, once you will tackle the questions. So now let's have a look with the help of example how it is going to work. Okay, for example, a company has following service department. This is the question data. Same similar way it will be given the question. We have a following service department. Cost and allocation. Basis he also told you, but like on which base you will allocate to the production. For example, we have two service department. One is called what? IT. IT co overhead cost is how much? Hundred and twenty thousand because this cost to be allocated to the production. And for IT, what is allocation base? CPU cycles. Then we have a second service department which is called what? Custodial service. And custodial service cost of overhead is forty thousand. And the base which we can use that is what floor space. Obviously, it will be given in square feet. Understood. So here we have only service department name, their overhead cost, and their basis. So down we have a further information. For IT, what is allocation base, guys? CPU, CPU cycle. And he told you CPU cycles used by each department. Understood. For example, milling has used. How many CPU cycles? Sixty million. Finishing has used how many CPU cycles? Thirty-six million. Because I am assuming milling and finishing are only our two production department. Custodial service has used CPU cycle how much? Four million. And CPU cycle used by IT itself. IT itself is how much? One ninety-six million. Assume. Understood. Assume. This this information is given. This will be given in the question. Understood? Then what? Here we have a allocation base for what? For custodial service. Custodial service allocation base is what? Square feet. This information will be given in the question. For example, milling is using how many square feet? Fifty six thousand. Finishing is using how much? Twenty four thousand. IT is using square feet how much? Twenty thousand. And custodial service itself is using. Here we how much five thousand. Okay, great. First thing, you have to be very careful here. You have to be choosy here because you have to allocate directly to the production. So what I will do here, I will cross that information which is not needed. So these are two production departments. So this information I need only for CPU cycle. Right or wrong? And 
For square fit, these are two production department. I need only this square fit. I don't need other square fits and I don't need other CPU cycle. Why? Because directly we have to allocate to the production and productions are milling and finishing. Now process is not finished. For the data we have, they are telling you pre-allocation cost of each department. Now these are the production department over at cost. But we have a two production, that's why I assume milling and finishing. One is the production department milling, second is what? Finishing. Milling is having how many pre-allocation cost, overhead cost? 300. And finishing is having 200. Great. And we have overhead cost for service department also, right? Above 120,000 for custodian and 40,000 for IT, if I'm not wrong. 120 is for IT and 40 is for custodian. These are overhead cost. Okay. Now what we will do? I want to allocate now service department cost to the production department. So what I'll do guys, first of all, please focus with me now, how you are going to solve this question. We know from question itself, I'm using data now. I'm just making a format. Huh? Okay, look. First of all, what we will do, this information belongs to what? And this information of what? Yeah. And we need CPU cycle of which two department? Mm -hmm. Milling and finishing. So what we will do, we will convert into percentage this information. How you will convert into percentage? If I make the total of only these two total, 60 million plus 36 million, total will become how much? 96, otherwise I can write it here, no problem. So we have a IT, for IT, what is the base? Base is what? CPU cycle. And we want for milling, and we want for what? Finishing. For milling CPU cycle is, for milling CPU cycle is how much? 60 million. And for finishing is how much? 36 million. So 60 million. And finishing is how much? 36 million. And I'll make the total. It will become how much? 90. 6 million. Why I'm making in total? Because I want to convert into percentages this data. So how I will convert into percentage? I'll, for example, if I want to convert milling into percentage, I'll take milling value divided by total value. Total is how much? 96 million multiplied by 100. This will give you some percentage. 60, 2.5%. Understanding? Then what we will do, we will convert finishing into percentage. Finishing value divided by total. Total is how much? 96 million multiplied by 100. This will give you how much? 37.5%. You got the percentages? It means what we will say? <coughs> it means IT department cost. Which cost? IT service department. We will take IT cost, which is 120,000. Uh, 62.5% of 120,000, we will take it to which department? To the milling. And 37.5% of 120,000, we will take it to the finishing. Same way, convert the percentages for, for custodial service also. I will go back. These percentages are calculated, but I am just using pen. So for custodial service, I am going to convert. Again, for custodial service, for custodial service, for custodial service, what is the base? Square fit. Right or wrong? We need square fit of which department? Milling. And we need for what? Finishing. Milling is how much? 50. 6,000 finishing is how much? It's given here, you know. Let's make the total. Just I need only these two. Ignore others. Total is how much? 80,000. 80, Convert into percentages. 56 divided by 80,000 multiplied by 100. So you will get into percentage how much? 70%. Then 24 divided by 80,000. This will give you how much? Multiply 100 will give you 30. You got the percentages. Now what we will do? It means we will take custodial service cost and 70% of that we will take it to the milling and 30% of that we will take it to the finishing. You got the percentages? What was the percentage is 62.5, 37.5. Then 70% and 30%. Don't forget. 
Understood? Now we'll make the format. Here is the solution now. These percentages are calculated here, don't worry. These are calculated here also. In solution, once you will read sheet, you can go through. Now we are allocating cost. This is the final solution now. This format you have to follow. Understood? So first of all, we will write departments. We have a two service department in which we have IT and custodial service. Then we'll write production department in which we have milling and finishing. And then first thing we'll write here, what we'll write it here? Total, like overhead cost before allocation. It was given in the question. Overhead cost for IT is given how much? 120,000. 40,000 is given for what? Custodial service. For milling is given how much? 300,000 in the question it's given. And 200,000 is given for what? Finishing. That's it. We wrote it. Now, what we are going to allocate? Anything you can allocate first. So we are going to allocate first what? IT. And you know IT percentages. We calculated there. 62.5% it was. And second was what? 37.5%. So what we'll do? From IT column now, I'll deduct 120,000. And now, 62.5% of 120,000, I will write under which department under? Milling, which will be 75,000. And 37.5% of 120,000, I will write under? Finishing. Understood? Then we will deal with what? We will deal with what? With the custodial service. The custodial service percentage was 70% for milling and 30% for finishing. So now custodial service, custodial service, I'll write it first minus 40,000 because it is going to shift from here. And I'll take now 70% of 40,000 and it will be 28,000. I will write under what? Milling department. Then I'll take 30% of this value. It will be 12,000 and it will be written under finishing department. After allocation, after allocation, what we'll do, this will become zero, this column, because 120 minus 120, 40 minus 40, zero, but here it will be added, because it is shifted there. So this total will become 403,000, this will become 257,000. Now I'm asking question, question in a sense, because what he will ask you and what you have to answer. If he will ask you, see, if he will ask you, my question number one, because now you have to choose the answer what he's asking. Calculations are in front of you now. If he's asking you what is the amount of overhead of IT department? Which department? Yeah. Amount of IT department transferred to milling department. So this is IT department raw. Transferred to milling. Transferred to milling is how much? 75. So this is your answer. If you will ask you how much amount of IT department cost allocated to finishing, again I'll go to IT and to finishing is how much? 45,000 is your answer. Now I'm changing my question. How much cost of custodial service? Cost of custodial service. This is custodial service. So allocated to milling. Allocated to milling is how much? 28. And to finishing how much? 12. So I told you four question out answer. Now I'm asking another question. See, just these are the words. Other question. What is the total cost of service department? Total cost of service department allocated to milling. So now these two you have to add. Because these two values are allocated to Million. Understood? This is your answer. Summation of this. Understanding? Next, I'm asking, what is what is the total cost of service department? I'm not saying custodial service and I'm not saying IT. I'm saying service departments. What is total cost of service departments allocated to the finishing? So this, these both are service department. This is allocated to the finishing. Understood? One more question I'm asking. I'm saying that tell me what is the total cost of milling department? Total cost of milling department after the allocation of service department overheads. 
आंसर इज फोर जीरो थ्री थाउजेंड वट क्वेश्चन आई आस्ट टोटल ऑफ मिलिंग आफ्टर एलोकेशन ऑफ सर्विस तो दिस इज फोर जीरो थ्री थाउजेंड He will play like this with you in words. You have to be very careful while answering the question. Understood? Clear, I hope so. Right? Yeah. So this is the most. Don't think so. It's easiest matter. No, in CMA you will not find th things easier than this. You can expect harder than this, not easier. And so this is the first method I told you only. Which method it is? Direct, Direct method. method. Now I'm going to tell you second method, which is called what? Step down yeah. method. Now we are going to discuss second method, which is called what? Step down method. So you should remember here how things will work under step down method. Please focus with me. Let me make a picture again because this picture will help you to solve questions. As I told you, under under direct method, please need concentration on screen. Under direct method, I said we have a two department service department. In service department, we have which two? IT and custodial service, and then we have which two production department in which we have what? Milling and finishing. So what we were doing in any order directly, service department can be allocated to the to the production, right or wrong? But now under step down method, things are going to be different. Things are what? First, please focus with me. Under step down method. Again, we have a two department. For example, service department in which we have custodial service and what IT, and we have production department in which we have milling and finishing. Under step down method, first thing you have to check within the service department. What I'm saying first, you have to check what. Focus on sentence. I'll tell you how to do it in calculation. Don't worry. Let's focus on sentence. First, you have to check within the service department. Only within service department. So we have how many service department? Two. Which two? Custodial service and what? IT. Within service department, you have to check which is providing more services to other. For example, let's assume custodial service is providing to IT. Custodial service is providing services to. IT for example sixty percent, and IT is providing to custodial service for example thirty percent. First, I told you what within service department you have to decide which service department provides more service to other. For example, how much custodial is providing to IT? In my example, let's say it is sixty percent, and how much IT is providing to custodial service? Let's say that is thirty percent. So, which provides more? Custodial is provides more, so it means first custodial will be allocated. First, which will be allocated? Listen, what I'm saying. First, which which will be allocated? Custodial will be allocated. And now, please listen. Listen, it's important. Okay, now custodial will be allocated to other three departments. Which other three? Not directly to the production. No, custodial will be allocated to IT, to milling. And to finishing. Now, please focus. Need concentration. If custodial is going to allocate first, and custodial is going to allocate two other three, which other three? Read the name. IT, milling, finishing. Tell me what is the base for custodial service? Custodial service base is square fit. It means I need now square fit of IT. I need square fit of Milling, I need square feet of finishing. These square feet I need, and then I will convert into, I will convert into percentages. This is step one. Understood? Now, which is allocated? The total service is allocated. Now what? Now we will allocate what? IT. IT will now because IT will not go back to custodial service because custodial service is eliminated. Now IT will be. Next stage, IT will be allocated to what? To the to the production departments. Now tell me what was the base for IT? Tell me base for IT was what? CPU cycle. It means now I need CPU cycle of only two department. Which two department? 
I need CPU cycle of milling and I need CPU cycle of finishing and I will convert into percentages. Understood? It means in step down method, first thing is what? We have to decide within service department which department provides more service to other and that will be shared in among other three. Understood? So this is the difference between direct and step down. Under direct method, what you are doing? You are taking directly to the production only. Understood in any order, but here you have to create order based on that which service department provides more service to other. How it will work, that I'll show you, don't worry. But this picture should be in your mind. Understood? So let's do the example now. Let's read the data first and do the example first. Understood? So please focus with me. Okay, now in other way around, please, uh, one time, let me say this way also, if you are confused, if you are going to start with IT first, for example, let's assume I'm going to start, assume, because previously we started with what, with the custodial servers. Let's assume I want to allocate first IT. It means IT will be allocated to other three now, the custodial servers, to milling and to finishing. And what is the base for IT? CPU, it means I need CPU cycle for custodial service and I need CPU cycle for milling. I need a CPU cycle for finishing and, and I will convert into percentage based on this total. And then I will allocate what now? Now I'm going to allocate what? Custodial service. Custodial service will be allocated directly to the production. We will not allocate back to the IT. If you will allocate back to the IT, this will become reciprocal method. Then I'll tell you later. Understood? Clear? So here we go now. Now guys, please focus with me. Now we have a question and example I'm going to show you. This is the question in front of you. What we have here? <clears throat> A company has the following service department. Because same data we have. We need concentration. We have a two service department, IT and custodial service. This is their pre-allocation cost. This is their allocation base. And same we for IT, what is the base? CPU cycle, same information is given as we have discussed in the first question. Now for custodial service, what is the allocation base? Here for it, same information is available. Understood? Now, same we have a two production department and this is their name and this is their pre-allocated cost before allocation. And now I am saying, no, I'm not going to use now direct method. We are going to use now step down method. So first we need to decide within service department, which department provides more service to other service department. So tell me how many service department we have. Only two, so this is how you will work now. I'll write here name of service department. I'll write name of, because within service department, you have to decide. I'll write name of service department, great. I'll write IT column first. And you know IT base is what? CPU, CPU cycle, and I will pick CPU cycles only for these two departments, that's it. Because I have two rows only. I'll pick CPU cycle of, these two departments only. Okay, and I'll make the total. See, look at here, CPU cycle is given here for these two departments. These are CPU cycle for these two departments, right? Four million at 196 million. Understood? Four million is for custodial servers. 196 million for IT itself. So it's what it's written here. IT and custodial servers, 196 and four million. And I'll make total, total is how much? 200 million. Right or wrong? Convert into percentage. How you will convert? I'll take 196 million divided by 200 million multiplied by 100. This will give you how much? 98%. Then I'll take 4 million divided by 200 million multiplied by 100. You will get what? 2%. This percentage is calculated. Great. Then I'll deal with now with which department? Custodial service. I'll make the column also custodial service. The custodial service base is what? Care fit and I'll pick care fit of only these two departments because these two rows are there IT and custodial service. Understanding IT and custodial service. So, what I'll do? 
So IT square fit, it's given the question, 20,000, custodial service square fit is how much? 5,000. If you are not sure, go back to the question. Here we have a square fit, our IT and custodial services. We pick that item, we will put it here. And we'll make the total only how much? 25,000. Yes. Those yeah, they are just you used only production departments. Here you are using first question within service department you are deciding. That's why only service department data and picking. So we'll convert into percentages. Total is how much? 25,000. Now convert 20,000 divided by 25. This will give you how much? 80%. Or 5,000 divided by 25 will give you how much? 20%. Now, that's it. Once these percentages you calculate it. Now listen to what I'm saying. Focus on screen. Now if you want to see how much IT is given service to which department? Custodial service. How you will look? I go to IT column. Because I want to see how much IT is going, IT is giving service to custodial. I go to IT column, I'm saying. Which column? IT. And I will look in front of custodial service row. It means IT is giving 2% services to what? Custodial service department. Understood? It means how much IT is given? What I said? If I want to see IT, how much IT is? See, I am locating again, no problem. If you want to see how much IT is giving service to custodial service, you will go to IT column and look in front of custodial service row. What you got there? Two percent. Understood? It means IT is giving how much services? Two percent. Now I want to see how much custodial service gives to IT. I'll go custodial service column. And I will look in front of IT. How much it is giving? Tell me who is giving more. Who is giving more? Custodial. It means custodial service will be eliminated first. And it will be allocated. Now, that's it. It means custodial service will be allocated first. And custodial service will be allocated to other three. Which other three? Which other three? Yes. To, to, to IT milling and finishing and tell me what was the base for custodial service think scare fit it means i need scare fit of it milling and finishing i'll go back and i'll check what scare fits are there so it this is scare fit this is it milling and finishing is here i pick this data now right or wrong i'll pick this data now and i'll write it here like that i'm Showing you solution, don't worry. So first, I'm allocating first what? Custodial service. Custodial service will be allocated to milling, to finishing, and to IT. Understood? And I'll pick square fit because custodial service is based on square fit. I'll pick square fit of, of milling, of finishing, of, pick of IT, and I'll make the total. Great. And I'll convert into percentage. This is given. This is given. This scare fit is given in the question. You are obviously you are not supposed to zoom. It is given here. See, this is the question. This is the question. Scare fit is given here. This is the question data. Here is given. So it will be given. Understood? Just you have to you have to learn how to pick with what to pick. You have to pick here three departments. Which three department? You need to pick. Scare fit for milling, finishing, and IT. So these scare fits are given in the question. Only pick these three scare fits now and make the total. Total is how much? 100,000 and convert it to percentage. You can convert, right? Right or wrong? For example, 56 over 100, it will give you 56%. 24 over 100, it will give you 24%. 20,000 over 100,000, it will give you 20%. Got it? Great. Now, 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 what we have to do? Because it means, it, please remember, don't break sequence. What department, which department we are allocating first? Custodial. custodial. And your custodial department overhead cost was 100 and, 140, no, it was 40,000. It's given in the question. This 40,000 we will allocate. Right or wrong? It means we'll take 56% of 40,000 and it will be allocated to which department too? 
million and I'll take 24% of 40,000, which will be 9,600, it will be allocated to finishing. And I'll take 20% of 40,000, which will be 8,000, it will be allocated to IT. Understood? So don't forget the values. What are the values for milling? 24,400, 9,600, and 8,000, right? These values. Allocated. Understood? Understood? Now we will make the format. Now we will make the format. First elevation we are doing. We will write here first which department? Service department. And we will write it here which department? Production. Write their name, custodial service, IT, milling and finishing. Well, as you can see, right? First thing what? Total before elevation. This is overhead cost before elevation. For custodial service, it is how much? 40. IT is 120. Milling is 300. Finishing is 200. It's given in the question. I, I wrote it here. And now I'm going to allocate what? Custodial yeah. service. Do you remember just we calculated values? Just we calculated values. We'll deduct 40,000 for custodial service. It will become zero. And 8,000 will be written under IT. 22,400 will be written under milling and 9,600 will be written under finishing. Just we got this value just above. Understood? We wrote it. That's it. And now after first allocation, this is total after first allocation is total after custodial service allocation. What will become total? Obviously, this will become zero. This will become 128,000. This will become 322. This will become 209 and 600. Understood? Now, what is allocated? Tell me. Okay. Really service is allocated. And what you have to allocate now? IT you have to allocate. It means now IT. Please listen. Now IT will be allocated to other two. To what? Milling and finishing. And what is IT base? CPU cycle. It means I'll go back to the question and I'll pick the CPU cycle of only for milling and finishing. If you will go back to the question, if you will go back to the question, CPU cycle for milling and finishing. This is CPU cycle for milling and finishing how much? 60 and 36 million. So we'll write it here. And we'll convert into percentage. This is what is happening here now. Now we are allocating what? We are allocating IT to other two departments. Which two departments? Milling. Finishing, we pick the CPU cycle. Understood? We'll make the total and we'll convert into percentages. And now I have a quick question. <laughs> that percentage I got, very good. My question is, now please don't make mistake here. Don't allocate this 120,000. No, now you have to allocate IT department, total cost after first allocation, that should be allocated, which is how much? 128. This should be allocated because I want to make it zero. So I have to shift all 128,000. Well, what we'll do, we'll take these percentages. This is what is done here. This is what is done here. We got these percentages 62 and 37.5. Multiply by what? 128,000 this cost here. So it means 80,000 will be allocated to which department? Milling and 48,000 will be allocated to which department to finish it. Understood? Understanding? Now we'll make one more format. So again, we'll write IT, milling, and finishing. Right? And what was total after first allocation? Here. 128,000, we'll write it here. 322,000, we'll write it here, right? 209,000, we'll write it here. This was total after first allocation, right? Understood? Now you are allocating. What you are allocating now? You are allocating IT and IT allocation amount you have already calculated here. How much you have allocated? 80,000 to which department? Milling. And 40,000 to which department? Finishing. So we'll write it here 80 and 48. And here it will become 128 minus, right? Right or wrong? Now, you wrote it, right? 
you wrote it here this time in third thousand. You wrote it, so this is negative, this 80, this 48 is charged. Now what you will do here, this will become zero. This is how much? Four zero to 400, this is what, how much? 256, 600. Understood? Can I ask question now? Okay, I'm asking question from here itself. Uh, by the way, your answer will be here, I'm highlighting because, tell me how much IT department overhead cost how much IT department overhead cost allocated to milling? Eight. IT department overhead cost allocated Eight. to Eight. milling. IT to milling how much? Eight. And to finishing how much? Okay. 48. Okay, I'm asking another question. I'm saying now that your answer will be here. From this table. Tell me how much custodial service department Overhead cost, custodial service department overhead cost allocated to IT? 8,000. 8, 8, Understood? Clear? I'm asking another question. What is the total of IT department after first allocation? Total of IT department after first allocation? 128,000. Understood? Now I'm going to show you questions from these two topics, and then I'll tell you reciprocal then. Clear? Understood, guys? Great. So now let me show you question. Reciprocal method I'll tell you again, because that is little bit algebra math. So here we have a question number one. It is on your screen. This question number one. Huh? Please go through this question, guys. This question starts from here and say, go through this question, please. So we have a question here, guys. So let's do it. We have to follow step down method. And we have to begin with what? With the quality control in service department. You have to start the allocation from quality control. Okay. The maintenance cost allocated to the assembly department, this is the question. But you have to start with the quality control first. But he is asking what is the maintenance cost allocated to the assembly department. Understood? But start with the quality control. So let's read the question now. Here's saying manager of register manufacturing are discussing ways to allocate the cost of service department, such as quality control and maintenance. So this is what they told you. These are two service departments. To the production department. So obviously these two are production department. The, the, to aid them in the discussion, controller has provided the following information. So here we have a budgeted overhead cost. Budgeted overhead cost what? Before any allocation. So these are overhead amounts. Here we have a budgeted machine hours. Machine hours are written under which? Only machining department. And budgeted direct labor hours, it's written under only assembly department. Okay. Then we have here budgeted hours of service. Here we have a quality control. Budgeted hours of service. Quality control. Actually, these are allocation basis. Quality control is giving service to maintenance how much? 7,000 hours. 21,000 hours to home to machining. 7,000 hours to assembly. And maintenance is giving service to quality control how many hours? 10,000, 18,000 and 12,000. Okay, but we don't need to care about, we need to care. We have to start with the quality control. If we have to start with the quality control, if we have to start with the quality control, quality control will be allocated to other three, to maintenance, to machine, and to what? Assembly. And for quality control, this is the base. It means I need these bases, hours. For maintenance, how many hours are there? 7,000. For machining, how much? 21,000. And for assembly, how much? I'll make the total. Total will become 35,000. If I'll convert into percentage, if I'll convert into percentage, so 7,000 divided by 35,000, it will give you 20%. And next, 21,000 divided by 35,000, it will give you 60%. And 7,000 divided by 35,000, it will give you 20%. It means 
Understanding, right? It means here we got, please. It means this is what, this is how much percentage? 20, this is how much? 60, this is how much? Actually, it's all this. First, quality control will be allocated to these three. We are allocating no problem. Let's allocate first. This is the solution here. First, allocate the quality control department to other three. Which other three? Maintenance, machining, assembly. And quality control base is these hours I told you 7,000, 21,000, and 7,000 for these three departments, right? Given in the question, yeah. Okay, so total became how much? 35 and just we converted into percentages also, right? 20, 60 and 20. Now what actually what we are allocating? We are allocating quality control we are allocating. And look in the question, what is the quality control cost which I want to allocate? 350,000 I want to allocate. So I will multiply 350,000. With 20 percent, 350,000 with 60 percent, 320,000 with 20 percent. So, this will give you 70,000, 210,000, and 70,000. Allocated now, this is the portion allocated. Now, we are making total after first allocation. So, that is the cost of the quality control, which we are allocating to maintenance, to finishing, and to machining. machining. Understood. Understood. Now what we'll do, we'll we'll write this department now. We'll write department. Uh, we have service department, quality control, maintenance, production department, machining, and we write here pre-allocation cost. Which cost? It is given in the question before allocation. It was 350, 200, 400, 300. It's given in the question. Now we have allocated what? Quality control and we got these answers, right? Right or wrong? 70,000 for which department? I'll write 70,000 under maintenance. 21,210,000 for which department? Machining, I'll write it here. 70,000 for which department? Assembly, I'll write it here. Obviously, this 350,000 will become a negative here. But this is shared there. Understood? Clear? Now, after first allegation, what is the total? What is the total after first allocation? It is zero. This will become 270. This will become 610. This will become 370. But this was not the question. Question is how much maintenance cost you have allocated to other. But we have just so far allocated which cost? Quality. Now, what is the total of maintenance? 270 after first allocation. Now this 270 will be allocated because now we have to allocate maintenance to other two. To other two, which department to machining and other is what? Assembly department. And it means now I'll go to maintenance in the question. And I pick the hours only of machine and assembly because I need only those hours now. I go back to the question. Here's a question, it's a maintenance. And I'll pick only for pick only for machining and assembly. What's the total here? 18 plus 12, 30. So can I convert into percentage? Yes. How? 18 divided by 30. Not understanding? 80 divided by 30 it will give you how much? 60%. And 12 over 30 it will give you. 40%. It means whatever maintenance cost is there, now 60% will be allocated to machining, 40% will be allocated to assembly. So this is what we are going to do. 60, 40 is the ratio. So this is the maintenance cost, 270,000 after first allocation. Now I am writing here. So we got these percentages, 60, 40, right? Right or wrong? So now this cost I want to allocate 270. 270 into 60% will go to Machining 270 into 40% will go to what? Assembly. So it is 162 and 108. Understood? Done? We'll make the total now. I have said it's clear, right? 
So now what we'll do, we will make it total here. After second allocation now, we'll write here. We have quality control already became zero previously. Now we have only maintenance, machining and sampling. And maintenance overhead was how much, you know? After first allocation, it was 270, 610 and 370 after first allocation. Now we are going to allocate which department? Maintenance, it will become zero. We just got values here for maintenance. Because 270 into 60% will be allocated to machining. 270 into 40% will be allocated to assembly. So we wrote there 162 and 108. Understood? Now read the question. What was the question? Question was, look. Question was, question was, maintenance cost allocated to, this is the question. Maintenance cost allocated to assembly and maintenance you have allocated at second stage. Maintenance you have allocated at so this is the allocation of maintenance here, right? Maintenance cost allocated to which department? To assembly. What is the answer? I'll go to assembly column and look from in front of maintenance. It is how much allocated? Hundred and eight thousand. Understood. Clear? Yes, please. Tell me, is that clear to the chat option? We have a similar question data, but requirement is changing now. Similar question. Read the requirement. Using direct method. You have to apply direct method now. The amount of overhead cost allocate. Amount of overhead cost. He's not saying amount of quality control cost. He's not saying amount of maintenance cost. He's saying amount of overhead. It's a total. To each machine hour at Rochester. Okay. Now you have to think where machine hours are written. Machine hours are written here. To each machine hours. Under which department? It means you need to get what? You need to get, by using direct method, you need to get total overheads. Because you have to calculate what? Total amount of overheads allocated to each machine hours at Rochester. I tell you. It means you have to do calculation for machining. Because machining department is based on what? Machine hours. Assembly department is based on labor hours. He's asking per machine hour cost. He's asking overhead cost for each machine hour, but for the machining department. Why I'm saying machining? Because machine hours are written there only. Understood? So how you will do it now? Same question we have. So let's do it. Direct method. So we can allocate directly the production in any order, right? Start with quality control or start with the maintenance, it's up to you. So convert into percentages first. If I'm I want to start with quality control, so only I'll take these hours only. Why these selected? Because directly I have to allocate to the production. So we have two production machining and assembly and I will convert into percentages. Can you convert? Total will be how much now? 28,000 of 21 plus 7. This will be how much? It will be 75%. It will be? Because if you will convert like 21 divided by 28, it is 75%. Then 27,000 divided by 28, it will be 25. Same way I can do for the maintenance also. For maintenance, I will make these two total only. Total is how much? Convert into percentage. 18 over 30, it will be 60%. And this will be what? 40. Understood? So look now what happening. Quality control cost. 40% will go to, oh, sorry, 75% will go to machining. 25% will go to assembly. Like quality control cost is how much? 350. Right or wrong? This will go 75% to machining and 25% to assembly. And what is maintenance cost? 200. It will go 60% to machining and 40% to assembly. Right or wrong? So let's do it now. It's very easy. So first of all, very simple thing. We got those percentages. 75, 25, 60, and 40, right? We got those percentages. Just we are doing direct allocation. We'll write department, service department, quality control and maintenance. Production department, machining and assembly. Right there, pre 
allocation cost before allocation it's given in the question before allocation is given first line first row it is 350 200 400 and 10 and now quality control cost was how much 350000 right or wrong so 350 will deduct here and it is what 75% we will take to machining and 25% we will take it to the assembly it will be 262 by 100 87,500. You can apply percentages, right, on calculator. Understood? Yeah. Then we have what? Now we have to allocate maintenance. It was 60, 40, right? So maintenance cost is how much? 200,000. I'll take 60% of that and I'll write it under machining. I'll take 40% of that. I'll write it under something. So that's it. So now what you will do? Make the total. These two columns will become 0, 0. And here at this three value, it will be this much. Understood? Clear? You just made the total. But now read the question. What was the question? Now read the question. You have to calculate total amount of overhead. It means you need total amount of overhead allocated to each machine hours. So, because machine hours are written under machining department. So I'll go to the machining department. I'll take the total of that. I take total of overhead <coughs> divided by machine hours. Machine hours are how much? 50,000 is given in the question. Look at here, it's given in the question. Here is the machine hours. It's written here. I take machining department overhead cost divided by 50,000 machine hours. I'll get per hour rate. This is what he's asking. Understood? Understood, guys? So we'll take seven. 82 500 divided by machine hours how much 50,000 you will get per machine hour this is your answer can I ask question if I'm if I ask you what is what is per labor hour rate you know labor hour is written under which column first look labor hours written under under assembly here it means now I'll make total of assembly department divided by these labor hours 25,000. This will be per labor hour rate. Understood? Clear? I have said it's clear, right? Sure, right? So this is what is called your which method? Directional. You did the question. Now I'm going to tell you reciprocal method. So guys, now third method, there's one more question, two more questions that you can try at home. But in software, you will find many questions. So we have now reciprocal methods. And I need your concentration. Okay. It's mathematical equations we have to solve simultaneously. So please remember guys, let me show again the pictures because pictures are important. This will clear your mind what you have to do. We have assumed at the start, we have a two service department. One is, yeah, one is, for example, custodial service, second is what? IT. Then I told you we have a two production department. One is milling and second is, we assumed. Under direct method, see the pictures, what, what's the changes? Under direct method, this is direct method I'm telling you. Under direct method in any order, but you can directly take to the production. These overhead cost, right? But under reciprocal method, yeah, sorry, under, sir, under yeah, step down yeah. method. Again, you have a two department custodial service and IT, and there are two production department milling and finishing. So under step down method, what you have to decide? First, you have to decide step down method. Now first you have to decide which department should be allocated first. So you have to check only within service department which department provides more services. For example, if IT, IT provides more services, IT will be allocated to other three. Custodial service, to milling and to pension. Right or wrong? And then, then if you will, once you will allocate custodial service, custodial service will be allocated directly to the Production department. Understood? 
clear but under reciprocal method under reciprocal method what is going to happen guys you have a two service department it and custodial service you have a two production department milling and finishing okay so what will happen here please 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 listen here reciprocal share is there for example if custodial service will be allocated custodial service will be allocated to other three any order you can follow it's up to you you can start with it first and allocate it to other three and i'll start with the custodial service allocate to other three again see what i'm doing First, let's say we start with the custodial service. Custodial service will be allocated to IT, to milling and to finishing. Now I want to allocate uh, IT. IT will be allocated to custodial, milling and finishing. Understood? But not this way. Simply you will calculate percentages. No, no, no. We have to do some specific calculation. But this is the idea I told you. It means there is, there is two ways. Please listen. There is two way allocation is there between service department, right? IT will allocate to custodial, custodial will allocate to IT, which was not happening in previous. Previously, only one way was there. Either IT to custodial or custodial to IT. But a two ways there. Understood? So here, how it is going to work. So let's do it with the help of example I'll explain. Okay? Because we have to solve mathematical equations. Please focus with me. You have same question data. Let's assume. But reciprocal method you are using. It's called algebraic approach. Reciprocal algebra. Algebraic equation we are going to solve mathematically. You have the same question. Can you go through the question with me? Company has what? Which two service department? IT and custodial. What are their overhead cost? 120 and 40. And what is their base? CPU cycle and flow speed. Okay. Now here. IT base is what? CPU cycle. So CPU cycle used by milling how much? 60 CPU cycle used by finishing how much? 36 million C CPU cycle used by custodial. 4 million CPU cycle used by IT itself how much? 196 million. Then custodial service, what is the base? Square fit. Square fit used by milling. Square fit used by finishing. Scale fit used by IT, scale fit used by the total server. This information is available. Great. Then, this is pre allocation cost of the production department. Same. It's milling, finishing, 300,000 and 200,000. So, what I'll do here now? So, we have to apply here, guys. We have to calculate first percentages. What we have to calculate? Percentages. How? I told you, for example, I need your concentration now. For example, first, we want to allocate, in any order you can allocate again. I want to allocate custodial service. So custodial service will be allocated to other three. Which other three? Milling and finishing. And what is base for custodial service? Scare fit. It means I need scare fit for IT. I need scare fit for Milling, I need scare fit for finishing. Go back to the question and check the scare fit. These scare fits are given. 56, 24, and 20. It's given in the question. I'll pick just these scare fits. Understood? So, and I'll convert into what? Percentages. What's the percentages? 56% for what? Milling, 24% for what? Finishing, and 20% for what? IT. I, I told you how to get percentages, right? This you made the total and this divided by this you got 56. This divided by this you got 24. I know you got it now, right? Okay. Now do one more calculation. You know? This was for custodial service. Do for IT also. IT. IT base is what? CPU cycle. IT will be allocated to other three. Which other three? Custodial service, milling, and finishing. Can you tell me just can you tell me for custodial service, 
like what are CPU cycle for custodial service? Go back. This is CPU cycle. For custodial service is how much? 4 million. This is CPU cycle, right? For custodial service 4 million. Remember the value. Huh? Finishing 36 million. 60 million is forward. Million. 436. 436 and 60. Convert into percentage. Custodial service was how much? 4 million. And for milling, how much? 60 million. Thank you so much. And finishing, how much? 36 million. Convert into percentages. Can you convert? I need. Because maybe this is not converted here. And it is converted. Yeah, it is converted. Matter is solved. Mm -hmm. I is also converted. Okay. 60, 36 and 4 million. Right around percentage will be 60, 36 and 30. Four percent. Got it? Once percentages are derived, now algebra is going to start. Please, I'm going you to take it back because I want to tell you two equations, how equations are derived. Ready, guys? Okay. Need concentration, please. Now we will drive here two equations, mathematical equations. For example, word I'm writing here, word I'm writing F R I T C. F R stands for fully reciprocated. I T C stands for IT cost, information technology cost. Fully Level if you remember fully recipe loaded, no need. I want total IT cost. Total IT cost I want. And total IT cost, how I can calculate? I need there, I need pre-allocation cost of IT itself. Using what? I need concentration here. How math is the equation that right? Because what I want, I want IT total cost. Uh, what I want, I want IT total cost. How I will get? I need IT pre-allocated cost. But like before allocation, what was the cost of IT? Plus how much share he will get from custodial service. Agreed or not? Because he is also using service of custodial service. He will get share of overheads from there also. The total cost will be what? I will take pre-allocation cost of IT plus and driving equation actually plus what share of overheads from this department from custodial service it will become total cost of it and now we have to write it here we have to write it here huh? so this equation you will don't forget don't forget please, please. Huh? yeah yeah you can write Okay, I'll start here because let me move to the IT first. I'll write it here. You can keep writing down. So this is the IT, right? This is in front of you, right? This is information about IT. What I told you, keep writing, guys. I will solve it here. First, I'll write equation, then we'll solve. Equation is what? I want fully reciprocated IT cost. Fully reciprocated IT cost means it should include the share of custodial service overheads also, whatever belongs to IT. For that, I'll I'll take your what pre-allocated pre IT cost of IT department itself, right? Plus, we'll take what share of overheads from shares from custodial service department. It's overhead share, which I will get it from there. Understood? You wrote this equation? Let's write it more refined way. F R I T C is what? Pre-allocated cost. Pre-allocated cost of IT plus C C C. Here, how I can write this? I can write this way also. This equation I'm writing here. How I can write, guys? I'll write it here. Fully reciprocated cost. 
of custodial service multiply by what is my share what is it share what is it share guys it share is 20% from where i got how i got because i want share from which department go back to custodial service this is custodial service calculation you have already done right and look in front of it how much our share is 20 but this is what i wrote it there it means i need custodial service cost multiply by 20 percent share you got it so i also you have i also you have written this equation understood we will take our own cost plus what 20 percent share from where from custodial service this will become equation right now let's write it in more refined way understood or not why lost you need a this this same you will write it here pre-allocated cost you need a share from where read share from where custodial service go to custodial service table go to custodial service table you go you got this calculation before for custodial service and look in front of it custodial service is giving how much shares to it 20 was is what i wrote there understood understood or not can you write it in more refined way now more refined way will be what f r i t c equals pre-allocated cost of it cost of pre-allocated cost of it is how much 120,000. You know, the question is given. In example, it's given 120,000 pre allocated cost plus fully reciprocated cost of custodial service into 20 versus. So, this is the first equation we got. This is the first equation we got. Write this equation, please. This is the first equation we got. Now we have to drive second equation. What is the second equation? I will drive it. So we have to calculate now. This is second equation, huh? Fully reciprocated cost for what? Custodial service cost. It will be equal to what? Pre-allocated cost of which department of custodial service itself plus share from IT. Okay, great. Fully reciprocated custodial service cost, which is pre-allocated cost of the custodial service itself, it is 40,000 is given in the question. The custodial service cost overhead is 40,000. We are assuming from first example, 40,000 plus share from IT, how I will go? I will go to IT now. I will go to IT. I will see how much that is given to custodial service. Go to IT. Here is IT like that. This is IT. IT is giving how much? 4% share to custodial service, right? We will take it here. We will write it here now. Share from IT will write it fully distributed IT cost into what? 4% share. So this is going to be our second equation. What was the first equation? Fully distributed IT cost is equal to 1, 20,000 plus fully distributed custodial service cost into. So these two equations are there with you now. Understood? So we will solve it. Please write these equations and just remind. Now, guys, these two equations we have now in front of you. So we are going to simultaneously solve. First, we'll we'll put one equation into other. We'll get the answer. Understood? So let's see how it is going to work. Simultaneously, we are going to solve. So we are going to start with the IT first because with any equation you can start. I'm starting with F. R I T C I will write now as small. It was equal to what pre-allocated cost of IT? Pre-allocated cost of IT plus plus what? Plus fully reciprocated custodial service cost into 20%. This was first equation, right or wrong? 
right? Now we'll we'll start solving it. Simultaneously we are solving. So this is how it will work now. So F R I T C pre-allocated cost of IT was how much? 120,000. This equation we already got it, right? Then it will be now where we have this word F R C S C. Here I'll put custodial service equation. You know what was custodial service equation? What it was? Second equation because you are putting simultaneously you are solving. Where this custodial service cost, what is there? Here I'll put custodial service equation now. Custodial service equation was what? It was it was pre-allocated cost of custodial service. Custodial service plus plus what? Yeah, F R I T C into how much percentage? Four percent. Actually, add this word. This is complete equation I wrote of custodial service. And now this 20% I have to write multiply by 20%. It's math. I'm very weak in math. I'm so sorry if I'm doing wrong. I'll try my best. Okay. Got it. But I also it is fine. Then you got it right. It means where custodial service word is there, we put their custodial service equation. Second equation. Okay. So now we'll solve further here. So what we'll do again F fully reciprocated IT cost equals what? 120,000 plus, now you have to solve, you know, you have to multiply this 4%, you have to multiply with this value also, you have to multiply this 4% with this value also, right? But pre-allocated cost of custodial service is how much? Pre-allocated custodial service cost is how much? Second equation I'm putting, like now pre-allocated cost is 40,000, right? Plus what? Plus what, guys? We'll take here, we'll multiply, huh? Yeah. This, because here, here we have a one. One will be multiplied with what? With the 4%. It will become what? It will become 0.04 FRITC in multiply by 20%. It's math. Understood? Keep moving. F R I T C equals one twenty thousand plus. Now this twenty percent will be multiplied by this and multiplied by this. Right or wrong? If you multiply twenty thousand with forty thousand, it will become eight thousand because bracket will open also. And this, if you multiply, it will become how much? Zero point zero zero eight F R I T C. Understood? Bracket removed now. Now, guys, you know here FRITC means a one FRITC. Now this I move to this side, right or wrong? Right. So what it will become? It will become like one. This is one actually. Yeah, one FRITC minus what? Zero point zero zero eight FRITC. This is one side equals. I'll add these two hundred and twenty eight thousand. Understood? Further, you will solve. It will become, if you solve this now, you will become 0 0.992 ITC F R I T C equal what? 128,000. Now you can calculate F R I T C how much? 128,000 divided by 0 0.992. So I T C cost will become 129. 0, 32. This is what fully reciprocated cost of IT. We got the IT cost, don't forget value. IT cost is how much? 129, 0, 32. Now I got fully reciprocated IT cost. Now I want to get fully reciprocated custodial service cost. Understood? So moving next. Don't be lost. So we solved first. First we got only IT cost. Now I want to get what? Fully reciprocated custodial service cost. So I will write it fully reciprocated custodial service cost. Second equation. But it was, it was, yeah, it was 40,000 because pre-allocation. 
Multiply second equation we are writing now. Multiply by what? It was F R I T C into four percent. This was second equation, you know. Understood? Then what we'll do here? Fully reciprocated custodial service cost into forty thousand. And here you got the value for IT. You got how much? One twenty nine thousand zero thirty two into four percent. Solve it. Fully reciprocated custodial service cost is equal to forty thousand. Okay. Plus, if you will multiply this two, it will give you five one. Six one, understood. Now fully reciprocated custodial service cost will become how much? Forty five one sixty one. That's it. No, it's question is not finished. At least we got custodial service cost and we got fully reciprocated IT cost, which is one twenty nine zero thirty two. Understood. Now we will move to the. Don't forget these values, please. For custodial service, we have a forty-five thousand something. For IT, we have a one twenty-nine thousand something. Understood? Do you remember? Please, I need concentration. Don't be lost now. Do you remember at start we calculated percentages? Now in reciprocal method, we got percentages right at start. Like how much? I, now in reciprocal method, like how much IT is given to custodial to milling to finishing, and then we got. How much custodial service is giving to IT milling and three three percentages we got it or not? What I'm saying, guys, we got these percentages right. But custodial service to milling to finishing and to IT and for IT we got this here right or wrong? To milling to finishing and to custodial service we got these percentages right. Don't be lost, please. Now I need these percentages, and I will multiply with one twenty nine thousand and forty five thousand to allocate to the to others. Understood? I need these percentages. These percentages are on your screen. You can see these percentages. I will use. So now we will make the final format. This is the final format. So we'll write it here first. Which department? The store dealer. IT milling and finishing. You know total before allocation. It was how much before allocation before everything. It was how much forty five one twenty three hundred and two hundred given in the question. Now what I'll do? First I'm allocating what? You know fully reciprocated custodial service cost is how much? You got an equation right? That forty five thousand I will deduct from here. And you know. The student service percentages are there. Twenty percent will be allocated to home to IT. Fifty-six percent will be allocated to milling. Twenty-four percent will be allocated to finishing. These three percentages we got at the start. That's the real method. Okay, we'll take it. What we'll take? I'll take twenty percent multiplied by forty-five thousand something. It will be written here. Fifty-six thousand multiplied by this. It will be written here. Twenty-four multiplied by Uh, forty-five. It will be written here. Understood? Now, see. Now I'm going to allocate what IT. You know, IT that's related to cost is how much? One twenty-nine thousand something. So, and percentages for IT we got four percent, sixty and thirty-six. Now, what I'll do? I'll take please four percent of this value and I'll write it here. The studio itself. Sixty percent of this value I'll write it here. Mailing. Thirty-six percent I'll write it here. Finishing. Now we will make it the total. See what happened. Forty thousand minus forty five thousand plus five thousand something. It will become automatically zero. zero. One twenty thousand plus nine thousand minus one twenty nine thousand. Automatically became what zero. And we make the total here. Make the total here. So see guys, this is how which method will work. Reciprocal prorated method will work. And what is the Don't say everything is bad in the reciprocated method. No, there is good thing. Positive thing is what inter service department allocation is there, not one sided, two sided. Understood? Direct method have one problem, totally ignoring the inter service department. 
which is covered by step down method, but step down method has another problem. It goes one way, not two ways. Then to cover that, we use what? Fully reciprocated method. Thank you so much, guys.